All right, let's look at this one. We've got two boats uh, that are pulling uh, this barge, and there's tension in these ropes. Uh, so these these ropes are pulling this barge with this tension. Tension one, let's see, A, B. We've got 3,000 pounds of tension, and tension two is 2,000 pounds in tension. Uh, and it says, what angle alpha must boat C pull the barge so that the barge will, will travel horizontally? All right, and what is the resultant force? So it does, it, does it say to add them? Not exactly, but do, do, we, do we know that we need to add them and the resultant, we want the resultant to be horizontal, correct? We want to add the two and we want the resultant to be horizontal. Well, we're breaking ve vectors into components. We're breaking forces into components. Let's break these forces into their components. Tension AB uh, is 3,000, but that's magnitude. Let's break it up into 3,000 cosine 30 in the I, 3,000 sine 30 in the J. Can you do that quick and easy, hopefully? Uh, so this value is 2,598. This value is 1,500. All right. And let's, you know, break up T, B, C as much as we can. Uh, 2,000. Uh, it would still, it would be cosine alpha. I don't know alpha just yet. And then down 2,000 sine alpha in the J. So I've broken them into their components as much as we can. So what does it mean when the barge will travel horizontally? If it's going to travel horizontally, this resultant is going to be horizontal. If this resultant is horizontal, then all of it is in the I direction. None of it is in the J direction. It's saying that these two components, the J components, are going to add up to zero, right? Or the Y components should add to zero. Add to zero. Oops, sorry. The 1500 and the negative 2000 sine alpha should add to zero. That equation lets me solve for alpha, right? Maybe bring this to the other side of the equation. Divide by 2000, inverse sine, alpha 48.6 degrees. There we go. That's the answer to my question. Then it says, what is the uh, resultant? Well, the resultant, I need to add these together. I've already added these together. It's going to equal to zero in the J. But adding these together, let's plug in 48.6. So the 2598 in the I... 200 uh, cosine 48.6, also in the I. I can add those up in the I. 3920 in the I. So the resultant is going to be 3920 pounds. And I already know it is horizontal. I already know it's in the I direction, but I could put an I in there right there. Okay, so sometimes they tell us the resultant is zero. And our unknown is on the left-hand side of our equation when we're adding our components together. But remember, just add the components together, um, break them into their components, and add them together.